gold is the wealth of patriots. Down here at the North Atlantic, you can see here behind me the ocean. Looking out that way over there to Europe. Hi to all the brethren over there. Um, now in my many years of being online, I've been on YouTube since 2008, um, I've never been called a certain name that I was called the other day. I can put this up on screen here. I was called a rock head. Okay? Um, because I stand for gold and silver. And people say that those are rocks. Um, no. This is a rock. Okay? Gold and silver are metals. Not the same thing. But uh, when you're a anti precious metal type, well, anything goes. You just make up your own rules, I guess. And uh, show you this. Here's a crab shell. Pretty neat. Little, formerly the home of a crab, I guess. But I um, want to make a point here. God created the earth to have gold as wealth. And um, man comes along in his sin and says, there's not enough gold for us to be wealthy. We want to create wealth some other way. And so let's create paper. And then now let's create digital. Um, well, <laughs> that's a problem because you're getting away from what God originally designed. Um, the Bible says in the book of Genesis that the gold of that land is good. Um, so gold is called good in Genesis, and you get to the end of the book of Revelation, there's a city made of gold. So yeah, God thinks very highly of gold. That's his system of wealth. And patriotic people understand the importance of having a thing like gold, the historical character of gold. And uh, you, really, you know, the other weird thing is this, this comment that I got that called me a rockhead. Rock um, checked out their channel, and of course, no content, which means probably that it's an artificial intelligence bot, and of course they would certainly be against gold. Uh, I mean, I guess to them, gold would be sort of like uh, cannibalism or something else, you know? Um, you know, because they have gold inside them, but they believe in digital currency as a form of wealth. And, um, but here's the point. I can be walking along out here in the natural world and technically I could come here where the current comes in and whatever else here at the ocean and I could look down and I could see a gold nugget laying here. And I could say, wow, would you look at that? There's actually a piece of gold right here and I can take this and it's wealth and go take it someplace to be refined. Um, but you can't do that with paper money. There isn't going to just be a naturally occurring roll of paper money laying here, or especially Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, uh, cryptocurrency. And you say, what are you against Bitcoin so much? Well, because it's laying the foundation for what later becomes the mark of the beast. That's why I'm against it so much. Uh, I do not believe that it's a good thing to have digital money because you see there needs to be a cap on that money. Hey, there's only so much. But with, with both paper money and digital even worse, you can just continue to make it and print it and whatever else. And pretty soon you've got a system that is completely just messed up and, and how do you determine when enough is enough? Hey, we've got enough now. Let's not do any more. You know, we've gone too far with this. How do you determine that? See, that's why I'm against this whole thing. And again, as a Bible-believing Christian, I believe that God said that gold is to be the standard for wealth, for all of history. As long as man is on the earth, God intends it to be gold. And when you get away from that, like I said, you're away from God's system. And it's wrong at that point in time. Um, but uh, another point I want to make and that is that the thing of gold. Oh, gold is just a yellow rock. Dave Ramsey said that, and uh, other people actually are falling for this, uh, and I'll call it what it is, it's a satanic deception. 
Uh, it's just a, a yellow rock. It's a yellow rock. Um, I don't know too many people that believe in precious metals that actually even have any gold nuggets. Um, uh, last time I checked, uh, American eagles and Canadian maple leaves and cougar rounds and, and uh, Chinese uh, pandas and, and uh, Austrian phil harmonics and things like that, uh, last time I checked they were finely crafted uh, coins that come from a mint. Hmm. They're a lot more valuable than just a yellow rock. A golden nugget that just you find out here as I'm walking around and well there's a golden nugget right there. See? Um, how the system works. Alright? How God's system works. God's system works with he puts limits on things. He says, this is the way it's supposed to be. And he'll let people have, in their free will, he will let them go out and make decisions one way or the other and say, I'm going to go against your system, God. I'm going to go against it and I'm going to do my own thing. All right. And why does he do that? Because that way he can show that he is just. He gives people a chance. He doesn't make people robots. So people can go out and they can say, we'll try currency, cash, paper currency. How's that worked out? Never worked, you know, once. It goes for a little while, hyperinflates and, and, or defaults or whatever else. It's never worked. Precious metals has always been there. And they always will be. And they give, they're given out at the judgment seat of Christ. Again, what do you say about that if you're a, you know, cryptocurrency nut? Um, of course, people don't care about that stuff. I realize they're atheistic, but... Uh, digital currency. God's going to give man... Um, this whole thing to do with digital currency. And it's going to turn out very bad. I guarantee it will. Uh, it has to. Because it's not God's system. And they say, well, we'll, we'll base the cryptocurrency on gold, on precious metals. Um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. So, just wanted to do a real quick video on this whole thing. Just another irritation thing of, of mine. Here we have uh, rose hips. These are very high in vitamin C. Right there, you can see. So, um, very good to eat. Actually, pretty tasty. They have some seeds in them, which you have to spit out, but very good. Kind of just like a little tart fruit. Very high in vitamin C. Seed. But, um, one of the highest forms of vitamin C in North America. Out here, free for the taking. Nobody even picks them. It's amazing. Again, God's system of natural health. How many people even care? They don't. We'll come up with um, pharmaceutical drugs with um, all sorts of different ways to uh, make people healthy. It doesn't make people healthy. <laughs> so, uh, get out there and discover what God originally created. Um, again, I recommend getting into precious metals, not to get rich, not to make money, but as a way to protect your wealth and to get it out of the bank. That's the big issue because the banks use your money for whatever they feel like using it for, which is a problem. Okay? So, hopefully you can hear me. I don't know if this is even going to turn out. The wind down here, it's really windy. But uh, we'll see. So that'll be it. Thank you for watching.